Hey kids, today we continue our series, Never Forget. We're learning some very important things that God wants us to never forget. Today, you're going to learn that Jesus has good plans for you. Some of you might be thinking, who, me? I don't think so. There's no way Jesus has good plans for me. Well, today we're going to find out why you can truly believe that Jesus has good plans for you. It's true. He really does have good plans for you. No matter who you are or what you've done, no matter how bad you might be, Jesus still loves you and cares about you. You're going to find out more about that in your lesson today. But before we get too far into that, we need to find out what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Ah, uh -huh, yeah! What's up, everybody? It's me, the SKI to the double T L E S, Skittles in the hizzy, and I'm ready to tell you what's up. Today, we are talking about God's plan for your life. So every time somebody asks you what's up, you tell them. I will follow God's amazing plan. Let me tell you something. God didn't make you by accident. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a little person right here. Oops, no way. God had a plan for your life long before you were even born. <coughs> God knows exactly what he's doing and he will do whatever it takes to make his plan succeed. So anytime, I mean anytime somebody asks you, what's up, you tell them. I will follow God's amazing plan. And that right there, is what's up. I got a rainbow of flavor, and I'm living for my savior. Skittles out, baby. Today's Bible story is found in the book of Luke, chapter 19. It's a story about a man named Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. That meant he took some of everyone's money and gave it to the Roman government. People didn't like Zacchaeus very much because he was known to be very dishonest. One day, Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was nearby teaching. He wanted to get a good look at this man he had heard about. He had heard all about how Jesus heals, loves, and tells people all about God. When he arrived, he saw a huge crowd surrounding Jesus. You see, Zacchaeus had a little problem. He was very short. He couldn't see Jesus over all the people, so Zacchaeus had an idea. He found a tree that was nearby and began to climb it so he could get a better view of Jesus. Pretty smart idea, huh? Don't you love climbing trees? Well, while he was in the tree, Jesus saw him. Jesus called him by name. Zacchaeus, come on down from there. I must come to your house as a guest today. The religious people that were there couldn't believe that Jesus would actually go to Zacchaeus' house. They didn't like Zacchaeus at all because he was a tax collector. They saw Jesus at Zacchaeus' house and said, How could Jesus possibly hang out with that man? He's a big sinner. Jesus was not impressed with the religious people. They were supposed to be the ones sharing the love of God, yet they were treating Zacchaeus as if he didn't even matter. Jesus said, I have come to save lost people like Zacchaeus. He was teaching the religious people that if they really wanted to do God's will, then they would show love to people like Zacchaeus instead of ignoring them and treating them like they didn't even matter. In your lesson today, you are going to learn that no matter who you are and no matter what you've done, Jesus loves and cares about you. And he has good plans for you. Trivia Tracy, and I'll have you know I never forget anything. In fact, I have entered into an intense trivia contest every week since the fourth grade, and I have never lost a trivia contest ever. My friends call me a know-it-all, but they don't know. And I tell you what, to prove how great I am at trivia, how about I try to stump you right now? 
Here's a question from last week's trivia contest I won. Do you know how many tubes of toothpaste it takes to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool? Give up. 3,916 tubes. And that's if you use the tartar protection. And you know what? Well, you probably don't, but I sure do. Here's something else I'll never forget. Today's power verse. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. That is one unforgettable power verse. Of course, I wouldn't forget it anyways. Now I need all the boys to stand up and say it with me. Trivia Tracy on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. Great job. You can have a seat. Now I need all the girls to stand up and say the power verse with me on the count of three. One, two, three. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. That power verse is so true. It doesn't take a 214 time trivia contest champion to know that. It's so important that you never forget that Jesus has good plans for you. No matter who you are or what you've done, Jesus has a plan for your life. And when you choose to follow his plan, everything changes. Now I need everyone to stand with me and say the power verse one more time on the count of three. One, two, three. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. Good job, you can have a seat. Now I've got to get back to studying for the next trivia contest. I have a stack of encyclopedias and dictionaries to read by next Tuesday. I'm Trivia Tracy and I'll see you later, boys and girls. Today we're learning another important lesson we should never forget. Jesus has good plans for you. Now you might be thinking, I don't know about that. Doesn't Jesus know all the things I've done? Doesn't he know how bad I've sinned? Doesn't he know that I'm really not that great? I don't deserve good plans. Maybe you feel like Zacchaeus from the Bible story. Remember, he was an outcast. No one liked him. People avoided him and stayed away from him because of what he did. He was a tax collector and a crooked one at that. He was always ripping people off and doing them wrong. And after all of that, the people decided not to have anything to do with him. No one wanted to be around him. No one cared about Zacchaeus. I bet he was lonely. Have you ever felt that way before? Like no one cared about you? Maybe you found yourself saying something like, It's not fair. Nobody even loves me. Or I'm a loser. Well, today we're going to learn the lesson Zacchaeus learned. Jesus cares when nobody else will. Remember, Zacchaeus was a loser. Nobody cared about him. He felt all alone, and he decided it was time to do something about it. He heard Jesus was different than everyone else, and he thought he'd check him out when he came to town. Sadly, Zacchaeus was even treated like a loser when he went to see Jesus entering the town. He was shorter than everyone, and he couldn't see. But no one even cared. He really wanted to see Jesus. Zacchaeus ended up having to climb a tree to see Jesus. It must have been tough to, for Zacchaeus. But do you remember what happened next in the Bible story? Jesus walked straight through the crowd, right past everyone else and right up to Zacchaeus in that tree. Jesus noticed him. Jesus cared about him. And Jesus cares about you. It doesn't matter what everyone else might think about Jesus. Jesus cares. Jesus loves you. Now, you might be thinking, well, wait a second, but I've done a lot of bad stuff. I've sinned a lot. There's no way Jesus still loves me and cares about me. But it's important that you never forget. No matter how bad you are, Jesus has a plan for you. Don't forget, 
Zacchaeus was a big time sinner. He ripped people off and took their money. Zacchaeus was so bad, his whole city didn't want anything to do with him. They didn't go anywhere near him. He was bad news. Maybe you're like Zacchaeus. Maybe you filled your life with bad habits and sin. Maybe you've cheated or lied. Maybe you've hurt others, said mean things or hateful things. Maybe you really messed up and there's no way you can come back from how sin, how your sinful life now. You've gone way too far. You're too bad. Boys and girls, it's important that you never forget that what Jesus did on the cross for you. It's important to remember that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He died for all of those sins that we just mentioned. When he did that, he forgave you of your sins. Jesus wants you to be free from your sin. Free from all the bad things you've done. Jesus wants you to follow his plan for your life. And here's the great news. When you follow his plan, everything changes. That's right. Everything changes. Everything. When you choose to live for Jesus and follow his plan for your life, everything changes. Your whole life. You become brand new. All of the sin and the bad things you once did, they're no longer a part of your life. You get a fresh start. A do-over. Remember what happened to Zacchaeus? When Jesus saw him and showed him how much he cared, Zacchaeus decided to change his whole life and start doing what was right. He was a great example of how when you follow God's plan, everything changes. Even though Zacchaeus was bad and no one cared about him, Jesus did. And Jesus had good plans for his life. It's the same for you, no matter who you are and what you've done. Jesus cares about you and he has good plans for your life.